This is the AEG punch cut saw. The reason it's called a punch cut saw is because the blade is situated above the base and when you tilt it forward like that, it punches in through the material. The riving knife is sprung loaded, so that moves out of the way. And what that means is, is that if you're working in a kitchen worktop and you want to cut out a sink hole, the user can make one, two, three, four cuts and then just nick out the corners with the jigsaw and then it comes out and you can put your sink straight in. One of the good things about this saw is it's very fast and it's very accurate. 90% um, of the time you would use the saw on a rail like this, an aluminium guide rail. The saw will run up, key to the guide rail and run up and down it. On top of the rail, you find these low friction strips and that makes the saw run up and down it very, very smoothly. On the back of the rail, you find these high friction strips, which means that the rail will stick to the workpiece very easily. When you first get the rail, you'll notice that this rubber strip is, is quite long. And what you have to do is you have to put the saw on there, set the depth to about five millimeters, and just cut this strip off. What that does, it keys this saw to this rail. Okay? And that means that wherever the edge of this strip is, is where you cut. Now the benefit of that is, is that you can make a mark on your material here and here, and you can just line it up, put your saw on the top, and make the cut. And that takes about 30 seconds to set up. 